Hi everyone, welcome to another Journalist Toolbox training. I'm Mike Riley, the founder and editor of the Journalist Toolbox. Um, today we're going to work with a tool called StoryMap.js. It's one of the Night Lab tools that's created at Northwestern University. Um, you can find uh, many tools like StoryMap and Timeline.js, which are the tools that the Night Lab builds, uh, on our digital uh, journalism page. And you can find that at journalisttoolbox.org. Go down that left-hand rail and digital journalism is right there on the left rail. Uh, it'll take you to this page where it says Digital Tools, uh, and there's all kinds of uh, fun little tools to create uh, maps and different types of uh, uh, multimedia for your pay, uh, web pages. Uh, these tend to be very quick turn tools, uh, things that you can uh, learn how to use and operate uh, pretty quickly. Um, the, as I mentioned, the tool we're going to work with today is StoryMap.js, storymap.nightlab.com. That's Nightlab with a K. Uh, and this tool has been around uh, for quite a while now. It's been uh, just a little under a decade. Uh, and StoryMap.js allows you to take multimedia and map it onto uh, a really nice uh, slideshow type format. Uh, and it uh, plays right through. Uh, you can embed uh, photos and graphics and video and audio and all kinds of multimedia there. Um, and uh, they have some examples embedded right into uh, timeline JS or uh, story map JS, excuse me. Uh, and you can see it's playing through here. It looks kind of like a little timeline here. They're going through some dates and things like that. But notice on the left hand side, it's skipping around going to different spots on the map. Uh, so you can kind of combine it as a timeline slash story map. Um, they at the bottom of the page have many examples of different types of uses uh, of story map uh, that may, mainstream media have used. Um, very easy tool to use. This is, uh, I think, the second tool that the Night Lab built, uh, so it's a little more streamlined than StoryMap.js. Uh, a couple of examples of uh, where I've used it uh, with my students or uh, with uh, uh, various newsrooms. Um, this was a look at uh, past papal visits to the United States. Uh, we did this at Cronkite News at Arizona PBS. Uh, and when we started on this story, uh, we were originally going to do it as a timeline, but uh, as the student reporters started researching the project, they realized that the Pope had uh, appeared in many different places around the U.S., including Alaska, uh, as well as Phoenix. Uh, so they went in here, and this is his trip to Phoenix in the Pope Mobile here, going down the street, going down the, one of the main streets in Mesa, probably, or uh, Tempe. Uh, and they, could embed, they embedded video in here of his trip uh, to Colorado and uh, uh, all the different places. So you can really do a, a nice job of mapping uh, all these different locations with a little bit of information about them. Uh, and uh, the, here they worked in the dates into the headline and then the multimedia at the top. So it's good for very visual mapping stories. Google My Maps might work a little better uh, if it's something where you're just mapping data uh, only. Um, this is another project that we did on uh, speakeasies in Chicago. Uh, there are a lot of old uh, prohibition bars uh, that are still alive and well in uh, the city of Chicago, including the Green Mill Tavern. Uh, uh, you can choose different types of map backgrounds, which I'll show you in a little bit, and different icons you can work with. Uh, students uploaded uh, you know, a little mug of beer for this one, um, and they went through and mapped, uh, you notice the addresses and the headlines here, all the old prohibition bars that are still around today uh, in Chicago. So uh, kind of a cool little project, very easy to build in story maps. You can turn these projects relatively quickly. Um, to make one, it's very easy. Uh, you're basically just filling out a little form online. Uh, hit make a story map. It will ask you for login information to sign in with your Google account. And once you've created a few, they'll be logged right in here. It'll list all the different types of maps that you've created. Uh, or you'll just hit new and you'll name it. And it works somewhat similar to an interface that you would see on PowerPoint. Uh, it has an opening cover slide, uh, and then you will have uh, little slides that you can add over here on the left-hand rail, uh, just like PowerPoint would. Uh, and you'll see a little box that appears in here that you'll need to type in the location so it knows where to go on the map. Uh, it'll recognize just like you know any mapping software, the name of a street, uh, longitude, latitude, city name, building name, you name it. Um, and what I'm going to map here, there's a handful of uh, uh, cities. This is from a CDC study uh, uh, that they had done on some cities that had uh, issues with drinking. Um, and uh, these cities 
uh, had high rates of liver disease, deaths and DUI crashes, binge drinking, and so on. So this is a very serious uh, story. Um, so I've got some text here that I'm just going to cut and paste into this field here. And I put in this little headline in here. You can add HTML in here. It has a, a little toggle. You can toggle back and forth between the HTML. Um, you can also uh, boldface certain words if I wanted to boldface Men's Health Magazine, which uh, published this study. Um, I can also link off to the source uh, of this study. So I'll grab the link, which is right here. It's from the CDC. We create a little hot link off to the study, and that's what will appear at the back of it. I can also boldface this whole area if I wanted to, and I think I will because it will help it appear a little bit better against my background on my page. And I'll show you how to do the background now. Um, I've got a link to an image here. It's a, uh, to a picture of uh, 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 ginger beer pouring over the side of a uh, uh, mug. And I'm going to create a little background in here. Normally, I would put my image, credit, and caption over here. Um, but Timeline allows you to add little backgrounds to your images and, or to your presentations. I can cut and paste the link in there. I could change the background color if I wanted to or upload a photo. That I want to put in there and I'll add that. Always well, hit the save button in the upper left. Up here you can toggle back and forth between the edit mode and the preview mode so you can see what it actually looks like. Okay so there would be my opening slide. The beer uh, with the headline and text right over it. There's my hot link. So uh, it appears really nice. Nothing appears in the map yet because we haven't added any locations. Um, so over here I've got this uh, little exercise. My first city uh, is Fresno, California. And I'm just going to take the data out of here and drop it into the story map interface. Hit add new slide. And in the location area, I want to type in Fresno, California. And it'll just randomly select a spot in Fresno. Uh, in your first couple of maps that you do, it'll look kind of weird. It's like random, random detail inside the city. As you add more slides, it will begin to pull back, uh, and uh, you'll begin to see more uh, uh, detail or less detail uh, in the map, and it'll look more like you're mapping around the country. You'll just see the city names, uh, but you have to add a few locations to it first. And here I have a link to a photo. Here. I also can upload an image right here and I'll hit save. It does give me some options up here, this little options button in the upper left uh, where I can change the backgrounds. Uh, their default setting, the, the Stamen Maps uh, uh, toner lights are really good. Uh, but if I want to do watercolor, you know, maybe if it was in the southwest and I wanted to give it uh, you know, more of a, a deserty feel, I could do that. But they give you a lot of different uh, map backgrounds and you can upload uh, different map backgrounds in here. Uh, there's different uh, languages uh, that you can do this in. Um, different, you can adjust your fonts. Um, I happen to like really like their uh, default font. Um, you can treat it as cartography, or if you want to upload an image as a background, you have to select the image there. Um, call to action means start exploring button right at the, the top, um, which I always leave there. Uh, this is uh, uh, mobile friendly, so you can do swipes on this as opposed to uh, uh, just uh, uh, click on the arrow to play through it like I did earlier. Uh, I'm going to add a second slide now, and this one's going to be Reno, Nevada. Go back, grab the link, fix the spelling of that name. There we've got another photo. I'm going to hit save again. Now I've got three slides. I've got my opening slide up here and then two cities. So I'm going to go to preview. 
it begins to back back out and the background uh, uh, will start to fill in again uh, as you uh, do more and add more uh, to the map. Um, it, right now it just appears with the, the, the little uh, specs right there, but it, it'll uh, actually fill out with the full map once you begin building it out a little bit more. Um, now that I've got it uh, saved, I'm going to go ahead and uh, hit publish on it. To do that, you hit share. Um, I always want to put in a little description in here. Uh, so I'm going to go in and grab this opening slide of information. It will also ask for a featured image, which is really important uh, when you're uh, doing your uh, um, tweets. You'll want to have a featured image with it. So I'll go back and grab that one of the beer and drop that in here. Hit close. And now I've got a hot link to it. I've got embed code down at the bottom, which is iframe embed code. It is responsive, so it'll work on your phone. You can swipe with it. Or you can just, you know, if you're on a desktop, obviously you're not swiping. Tablet, you can swipe on it, of course. Um, but, you know, you would actually click through like this. But the experience here would be swiping on it. So that's how you do a basic story map. Um, again, uh, these tools will all be mentioned and these examples will all be mentioned in the YouTube uh, description uh, for this video. Uh, so you can go in and find them there.